And welcome to another introduction video workshop to Blender 2.5. This video workshop has been put together for students in the Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences and is made very much for a classroom environment. In this video workshop we're going to set you a challenge which I hope will engage your creativity to produce a model. But before we do that um, I just want to ex talk to you a little bit about um, the concept of geometric form or form. In real life, um, in our 3D world, every object around us has a form. We recognize a chair, even though chairs uh, are different from one shop to the next, from one house to another, we recognize a chair, a chair by its geometric form. That chair usually has some legs, um, or rather that chair does have legs, usually four. Um, that chair has somewhere to sit. That chair usually has a back. If it didn't have a back, it would be a stool. And sometimes that chair has arms, other times it doesn't. But that chair has a common form that allows us to recognize that it is a chair. Now, um, the great thing about 3D modeling and animation is sometimes um, when you are modeling, your models don't have to be too detailed, especially if they appear in the distance. If we look at this model that I put together from a basic cube mesh object. Um, this has the form of a house, at least I hope it does. Um, we recognize it as a house by the shape. We've got the cube-like structure with a pointed roof. We've got a chimney and we've got gutters that are coming out of the, um, of the roof. So this geometric model, this geometric shape, which are made um, like any other uh, shape in Blender. They are made through polygons, which uh, contain edges, vertices, and faces that are put together to create this mesh object that has the form of a house. So um, in this uh, video workshop, what we're going to do is we're going to set a challenge. And to set the challenge, I'm just going to go to a new project now, file new, so I'm going to lose this, this house, and uh, you're going to be challenged to replicate the form of an object from real life using no more or no less than 10 cube mesh objects. So that is the default cube which Blender provides, and you can um, add nine more additional cubes to your scene. No more or no less. Okay? Now I'm going to show you what you're allowed to do with your object. Recapping on previous video workshops, you can use the following hotkeys. Okay, obviously you can um, use the G key for grabs. You can move your object around your, your scene. Um, you can use the S for scale. You're allowed to scale your uh, mesh objects up and down. You are allowed to rotate them. The hotkey for rotate is R. You're allowed to rotate your um, mesh objects. And um, there's one other thing that I'm, I'm going to show you how you can do, which is still scaling, but you can scale your object. You can scale um, different um, the objects, uh, different faces. So I'm going to introduce you to a new tool right now before we begin this challenge. These um, are the manipulator tools. These are blue, green, and red axes. When you work in a 3D modeling and animation um, environment, you can um, change your objects by uh, basically manipulating them along the axes. Okay. So we know that we've got our X, Y, and Z. Um, for the interest of this video tutorial, I'm going to refer to them as blue green and red. And these are your manipulator tools. So I can um, uh, move this object along the blue axis and I'm manipulating its location, its position. Um, down here they can be controlled using these tools here. So I can um, select this tool here which has got a little square at the end of the line that replaces the arrow and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and you can see that my arrow turns to squares 
and I can now, these are scale manipulators, so I can now scale my cube to become an oblong shape, okay, and I can also make it a little bit thinner. So you are allowed to do that in this challenge, okay? You are allowed to scale your object, to R rotate your object, okay? And obviously you can relocate your object around your scene. And your task, no more or no less than 10 cubes, you must replicate a 3D model to replicate the form of a real life object. Okay, so if you understand the task, you can get going now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I'm, I'm going to have a go at uh, creating an object. So I'm going to go over to my uh, manipulator tools and uh, just going to scale this a little bit long like this. And move it up a little bit. Go and add another mesh object, add mesh, and another cube. It's my second mesh object. And I'm going to change the scale of this object also. Still keeping with the parameters, we're allowed to scale, rotate. We're allowed to scale, rotate our object. Now I'm going to show you a, a, a trick um, that may come in handy during this project. Um, if you hold down, if you've activated your object here, so I've got the object activated, what I would like to do is I'd like to duplicate that object, create a duplicate, duplicate. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hold down the shift key and push D for duplicate. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm going to push D for duplicate and you can see it goes white. I can now just move my object to the side. I can just move it along the scale. Now I've got two of those objects, which is quite useful. It saves me some time. So I've done that. Okay. Um, all right. So I've got three cube objects. I'm just going to duplicate this again. Shift D. Another mesh object now. Cube. I'll rotate this around a little bit. No, I don't want to do that. Um, another tool that uh, you may be interested in with the manipulator tools is that um, if you want to be more precise in the way you're rotating an object, you can actually go over to these manipulator tools again and I can um, use the rotate manipular mode. So I'm going to click on this and you can see I get my circles. And I actually want to rotate my object along the um, X axis, which is the axis, which is the red line. So I'm going to go and rotate that there. So I rotated that. Um, so that's a way that you can, um, a different way of rotating. So I'll go back to original. I just need to scale that down. Um, okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to duplicate actually these parts of my object as well. Um, Shift D duplicate and uh, move it up. And this should start taking shape now. Probably will start guessing exactly what it is I'm trying to create uh, once I do this. Hey. 
D for duplicate. Click on the rotate. Move it on the blue axis. I'm sure now it's starting to take shape exactly what it is I'm creating. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go all the way to the front, and we've got a rotated cube here, ten. So there you have it. Um, this is a, um, uh, hopefully the, I've been successful in replicating the form of a helicopter using no more or no less than 10 mesh objects um, in order to achieve that effect. So if I render my animation, um, just look at the camera view, view camera, I'm going to have to just scale this camera out a little bit. Um, scale the camera out. So I'm going to click render image. Click render image. And there you have it. So I've got um, a mesh object that, which hopefully takes um, takes the form of a helicopter. This is an extension. Um, we now have our uh, geometric form. Um, this is the form of a helicopter. And if you wanted to, you could animate it. So you can see that I've uh, added some colors to this object. I also went into some of my environmental settings, some just in, in, uh, basic um, world settings. I added a paper sky, a blend sky, added some colors to them. I put in uh, ambient um, so I can kind of get the light from everywhere. And you can see here, if I render my image, um, you can see what I mean about the light coming from uh, from up above and everywhere. Um, so, in terms of an extension, what we can do is we can um, animate um, this object if we would like. So, how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to um, select one of my objects. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select um, uh, the second object as well. So, you can see that I've now got two objects that are um, that are active. We go over to my uh, uh, um, uh, timeline here at the bottom. I can see that uh, not all of this is in frame, but where it's got end, I'm going to put 120 seconds because I only want five seconds of animation. And I'm just going to move my uh, my marker onto the first frame. And I'm going to insert. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to have to re-highlight these. Sorry. I'm going to have to insert my. Uh, holding down the shift key, right click. I'm going to insert my um, first position, which is the first keyframe, which is my rotation. So I'm inserting a keyframe rotation. You can see that my marker has gone to yellow. Now I'm going to click on my uh, uh, manipulator tool that allows me to rotate this object. You can see I need to do the blue um, along the blue axes. And I'm going to move my uh, marker along to frame 120. And I'm going to uh, spin this, uh, rotate this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do six. We we'll do seven, <laughs> and um, I'm then going to click I for insert, and I'm going to stick rotation. Now click on uh, play, and you can see that my uh, my helicopter is rotating. Do that one more time, so you can see over here at the uh, the back propeller. I'm um, going to hold down one of the objects. I'm going to shift. Hold down the shift key and um, select another one. There's the right key. This time I'm going to go along the uh, red axes, the x axes, and uh, I'm going to go put my uh, marker back at the first frame. I'm going to insert my keyframe, which is I for insert, rotation, because we're doing the rotation. You can see the green line, uh, uh, underneath the green line, there's a yellow line. I'm going to go and move all the way to the end of my animation, um, which I think is 120. 
um, that's the five seconds and this time I'm going to go and um, s uh, rotate my object so one two three four five six seven I'm going to do the same number of times as the big propeller click click in I for insert rotate and you can see now if I click play in theory um, both of my um, my propellers are in rotation so um, I'm just gonna go and create an animation of this uh, just to recap um, go over here click on um, camera and scale down and uh, need to make sure I'm gonna put it in the right location so I'm gonna um, stick it in um, my uh, my blender folder and uh, I'm gonna call it um, chopper animation any or anim and uh, click uh, accept that's where it's going to be stored I'm going to do it as a quick time file to go up and now I can just select animation and it will begin rendering all of those images um, so I'll have a five second animation of my uh, geometric form of a helicopter that has animation to it